Hey everyone, welcome back to TJ Lavin Ultimate BMX. I'm Insetic, with me is Blank Tester. Hey, how's it going? Um, just a couple more things to address. Yeah, you've got a, uh, you know, you've got a selection of professional bikers, however, I guess you could kind of say it's the C-list group, you know? It's the bikers who aren't contracted by the Dave Mira or Matt Hoffman series. I, I like that. I mean, how, obviously, you know, you sign your rights over to one video game. You yeah. know, like, none of these guys are in multiple. Yeah, pretty much. So, like, it, it's it's so obvious that, like, oh, they either didn't get signed by, you know, Activision or Z-Axis... Or they were like, wait, I want in on this. Are there any other games being developed? Oh, oh TJ oh. Lavin's getting a game. Okay. I mean, TJ Lavin's apparently a kind of big dirt rider, but, like, you know, I didn't know his name. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I hadn't heard of any of the guys. Yeah. But I'm kind of picking Fuzzy Hall for a slightly specific reason. Well, two, really. One is that he's also more proficient in the dirt stat. Which is weird to say. Hmm. Um, I don't want to make this a definite, but I feel like dirt riders ride better in all the environments. Really? I I don't want to <laughs> put myself down on 100% saying something, but I just have a feeling. Like, you know, I, I picked a street rider and was riding around the street level and it felt weird. Ah. Different. Um... So here's kind of the first example of level interaction. You might not know that... What? You know, you might not have thought that wood panel did anything. You might have thought it was just geometry, but if you crash into that, it drops. You can ride up it and ride up into this secret area. Hmm. And really, I gotta say, the level interactions are not very good. Not only in, like, presentation, but in, like being able to think, oh, that's reasonable. You know? Right. Like, you know, there's nothing about this game online. I was really kind of like going into each level completely on my own, and you know, I'm not going to hang on it for too long right now, but again, things start getting kind of worse as it goes along. Like, there's more moments where you're like, the developers thought that was so obvious, but it really wasn't. Yeah. It kind of actually reminds me of, um, like in the metal in the original Metal Gear Solid, you know, there's all kinds of like neat little uh, Easter egg kind of things that you can do that people wouldn't have thought of. Like, you know, if you're staring at uh, Meryl while she's not wearing pants, she actually blushes if you wait for like an hour. You can see her oh. face gets redder and redder and redder, and it's a thing that you never notice. If you don't, if you don't know, you're looking for it. But yeah. like, it's that's not vital to gameplay. Yeah, it's like a touch. But, but like here, you couldn't get that MTV logo without finding the secret passage, basically. Yeah. And I remember riding around, going, "Okay, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing?" And I crashed, or maybe not crashed, but I did hit that panel. Noticed, oh hey. That's got a sound effect, and it dropped, and I went, oh. Right, like, but that's not a satisfying, like, oh, it's more like a, uh, oh. Oh, exactly. Huh. Oh, and again, we'll leave it at that for the moment. These levels are still fairly small, and that panel was pretty close by. Um, so, you also saw me start to get into kind of the special tricks the way this works is that, like Whoa. I said, you know, your character kind of gets energized once you've been playing well. Yeah. And, you know, normally you've got the basic direction buttons on the D-pad and then tricking, you know, up square, left square. You've actually got diagonals, but those don't have their own special tricks um, necessarily. But, like, once you get energized, you can double tap a direction and a button. So, like, up, up square does a special version of that trick. Oh, okay. Like, uh, instead of just an X up, it's a no footer X up. Huh. You know, or something like that. Or like, instead of the turn down, you saw that turn down backflip. But actually then, and the game doesn't tell you this part, I accidentally discovered this, uh, you have... <clears throat> okay, so it's not necessarily diagonals, but if you hit, like, right up 
uh -huh. trick button or up left, you have to go counterclockwise. You can't go clockwise. Weird. It doesn't work clockwise, but counterclockwise, those are like your super special tricks. Those are the ones that take a long time and give you a bunch of points. Like that Mormon vision trick uh -huh. where he did like a barrel roll and then a tail whip and I crashed because I didn't have the time. Um, huh. Yeah. So those are your super special tricks. Weird. Yeah, but the basic double tap and then a trick button, you know, are, are, will still get you a decent amount of points, and they're actually landable. Yeah. You know, like, that was like a bar spin, no, or a cranked no-footed X up, see, like that. Yeah. Yeah, and there's also kind of special grinds and special stalls, you know, cranked X up, double peg grind, but like, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, I yeah. gotta say... A lot of these games, like, I'm terrible at extreme sports games. Because I just can't wrap my mind around, like, learning all of the combos and, like, remembering... Like, I, I don't know, I'm just not that dexterous, so I don't think about, like... Up, up, left is just already too many inputs for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so, like, uh, it's the reason why I don't like those, like, really technical fighting games either, you know? Uh, yeah. But without a, without any kind of instruction booklet, this would be goddamn impossible for someone. Oh my like god. Me. And I should say, I tried to buy this game physically, and it took three tries. Not necessarily because things were out of stock, but the first two times I bought it, you know, I bought it a while back to kind of make the Extreme Sports collection. Ah. Oh. It apparently shipped and such never arrived. I bought it earlier this year, shipped and such, never arrived. Weird. And finally, the third time, I bought a physical copy and actually arrived. Huh. So I actually didn't have an instruction guide when playing this game the first time, emulated on the computer, and only got it yeah. after. Um, so yeah, we saw a few things here. We saw the dirt level, which in its easy iteration is basically, you know, one long path. You know, not a lot of uh, shortcut potential yet. Yeah. Um, we saw some of the special tricks, because I got some jumps that were big enough to do so. The dirt level had some uh, level-specific challenges. I mean, all of them did, but the dirt level had, you know, grind a certain amount of rails or smash a certain amount of signs. Yeah. Oh, and I guess, like, we should talk about the music a little bit. I mean, we don't have a ton of time, but... You know, MTV is MTV, and so they got... Actually, they didn't get a lot of A-listers, really. Yeah. They got a P.O.D. song, but it's not one you'd know. They got a Right Now by SR71. Huh. Which you, you, you've heard in other extreme sports games, like Splashdown or such. And then a bunch of bands that I really hadn't heard of. I mean, a couple that I knew the name of, like Unwritten Law, but... There's definitely a few weird cuts in this, yeah. including one song that I search for and I cannot find on the internet at all, so it just might be my duty to record it. <laughs> this might just be the only proof that a certain band even exists. Huh. Um, but we'll get to that. Oh, another like every level has its own song, really. It's kind of like... Um, how Dave Mira One does it, where, like, y you know, you start a song and, like, when it ends, it'll just loop again. Yeah. Um, so it's not like, you know, you chug through the entire playlist when you're just riding around. But, yeah, we, we could talk about that more next. So, basically, we've gone through the easy levels, and now it's time to go to the first competition level. One of those games where you got competitions in between. We'll be going to Tropical Fever, the street competition, next on TJ Lavin. <laughs> 